The average family living in a house in the city of Madison pays just over $19 a month for water. Our mission here is to provide clean drinking water for the entire city of Madison. There is a lot that is involved in getting that drinking water to your home. There's going to be, depending on the winter, between two and 500 main leaks in the course of a year. We are digging the water main to find out where the leak is at on the pipe. We're on call 24-7, 365. We're ready to go. We try to fix things as quick as possible, from one for water loss and also make sure that the public always has water. It's a huge project. We are replacing a very old, very undersized reservoir with a, a new one that serves uh, two pressure zones and serves them both up to modern standards. It's about keeping up our level of service and uh, renewing our old infrastructure and growing with the city as the city grows. Twice a week I come here and take a water sample. This is just the tip of the iceberg of some of the, the water quality testing that we do. A lot of the teachers here will ask me, what are you doing? And I go, well, I'm testing water. Just for us? And I go, yeah, yeah, it's just for you, but also the, the neighborhood too. This is my job to make sure that the water is safe. The city of Madison maintains approximately 8,500 hydrants. All Madison Water Utility, responsible for every one. It's very important that every single hydrant in the city is well maintained in the event of a fire. When the public needs them and the fire department needs them, they need to be ready to go. A turbine pump pulls the water out of the ground, out of the aquifer, and fills our reservoir. On startup, I mean, that's a lot of force. When that motor kicks on, it kicks on. About 2,000 gallons come out of the earth every minute. We have these stations all over the city. It's really important to keep this stuff up and running. We transfer about $6 million a year to the city's general fund. We are a nonprofit and tax exempt, and we were required to make this payment to the city instead of paying taxes. The city is able to use that money in any way it needs to. We do field trips all over the city. We have all these different wells and towers, and we love bringing school groups through. One of the big focuses we have uh, with our public education is sustainability. How to conserve water, how to protect our water resources. We talk a lot about our infrastructure, our hidden assets under the ground, but we also have an infrastructure of people that keep the water utility running. We've got people in the office answering the phone. We've got people monitoring the system. We've got all these people that work together, that do the budgeting, that do the planning, that try to make sure that the water utility is run in the best way possible and that it can continue to be this public asset for the city of Madison.